guys, I hope your week is going well. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about dark knuckles or hyperpigmentation on the knuckles. This has been a highly requested video for quite some time. I'm mostly gonna talk about the causes of hyperpigmentation on the knuckles. The reason for this is that the treatments for this are pretty limited and the main treatment for hyperpigmentation of the knuckles is going to be addressing the cause rather than, rather than seeking an, a cream or something like that. One of the most common causes of darkness on the knuckles is a condition called acanthosis nigricans. I have a whole video talking about acanthosis nigricans, but if you're not familiar with it, it is a type of skin change that is an early manifestation of type 2 diabetes. It appears as dark, thickening, um, kind of velvety plaques in anywhere, really anywhere on the skin. It can happen on the face, uh, most commonly happens on the back of the neck. It can also happen on the inner thighs and on the knuckles. And acanthosis nigricans is probably one of the earlier signs of type 2 diabetes. So it's really important that if you have hyperpigmentation anywhere, you see your treating healthcare provider and you know perhaps they might consider checking some markers for early insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. Uh, because that, that, is the, that, is, that is something that's important to rule out and appropriately treat. If you do have type 2 diabetes or early type 2 diabetes, however, treating that medical condition does not always make the acanthosis nigricans go away. So importantly, if you have hyperpigmentation on the knuckles, very important to be tested to see your healthcare provider to make sure that you don't have early diabetes. And if you do, getting treatment early will, while it won't reverse what you have, it will keep things at a level that you don't get worsening acanthosis nigricans. So very important to see your healthcare provider to rule out type 2 diabetes. And if you do have acanthosis nigricans, there's really not a cream or anything that's going to melt it away. And so it's mo most important that you see your healthcare provider. But another cause of hyperpigmentation on the knuckles that is sort of related to acanth acanthosis nigricans is polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is a common medical condition in women that is due to elevated levels of or overabundant signaling, if you will, of the male hormones in our body like testosterone. What happens in this condition is that that abnormal level of testosterone or responses to testosterone kind of skews a lot of things with our hormones and can result in risk for type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. And therefore, you can have these features of acanthosis nigricans on the knuckles, on the back of the neck, etc. So that, that's another condition that hyperpigmentation on the knuckles may be related to. Other features of polycystic ovarian syndrome have to do with irregular menstrual cycles, problems with fertility, hair growth on the face or hirsutism, uh, severe acne, and even flares of a, a, a skin condition called hydradenitis suppurativa, which I have a video on if that is you, by the way, also can be associated with thinning of the hair and hair loss. So those are some features of polycystic ovarian syndrome that distinguish it from, from uh, insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes on its own. Another reason, though, for hyperpigmentation on the knuckles is vitamin B12 deficiency. Vitamin B12 deficiency, contrary to what you might think, is not exclusive to vegans and vegetarians. And it's actually a pretty common condition. And other presenting features of B12 deficiency include profound fatigue, shortness of breath, dizziness, lightheadedness, and also numbness and tingling, like in your hands and feet, for example. B12 is really important not only in the health of our blood, um, but also in the health of our nerves and our nervous system. And undiagnosed B12 deficiency and untreated B12 deficiency is very dangerous, uh, incredibly dangerous, can have severe irreversible consequences on your overall health. Diagnosing it and treating it early are imperative. And so hyperpigmentation on the knuckles can actually be one of the presenting signs present about 10% of people with B12 deficiency. Unlike acanthosis nigricans, 
where when you treat the uh, type 2 diabetes, the acanthosis nigricans doesn't always go away. In the case of B12 deficiency, however, when you treat the B12 deficiency, the hyperpigmentation will improve and go away. Another situation that will lead to hyperpigmentation on the knuckles is a side effect of a medication that you might be taking. Medications that can cause hyperpigmentation on the body, including the knuckles, include oral birth control pills or estrogen replacement therapy. Also, uh, systemic steroids like prednisone can also cause hyperpigmentation. Um, the HIV medication class protease inhibitors can also cause this. So certain types of HIV medications, medications used to, to treat HIV, can, can cause hyperpigmentation on the knuckles. And also niacin and niacinamide supplements, nicotinamide supplements, can also cause hyperpigmentation on the knuckles, as well as injection of insulin. So if you take insulin for your diabetes, the injection of the insulin can cause hyperpigmentation as well. In the case of medication-induced hyperpigmentation, though, a lot of times it will go away when the medication is stopped. For example, in the case of niacin, when the niacin is stopped, the hyperpigmentation will go away. Another condition that is not incredibly common but does occur is something called Addison's disease. Addison's disease is a disease in which your adrenal gland does not make hormones like cortisol properly. And the downstream effect of that disease is that some of your other hormones become really elevated to try and get your body to make those other hormones. And those elevated levels of that, of, of what's called ACTH, can drive hyperpigmentation diffusely and throughout the body, but also localized in areas like the knuckles. JFK actually had Addison's disease, and that is what uh, is responsible for his tan. Uh, you know, he was not, uh, th that, that's actually due to his Addison's disease. There are also some autoimmune diseases like scleroderma and dermatomyositis. They're not very common, but there are other medical diseases that can have hyperpigmentation localized around the knuckles. Scleroderma is a condition in which the skin becomes hard and waxy and you have tapering of the fingers and you can get hyperpigmentation on the knuckles. And then dermatomyositis is an autoimmune uh, condition that has problem that where there are problems with the skin as well as the muscles and patients will have uh, rashes um, often in sun exposed areas that are exacerbated by sun and they can have rashes over their knuckles that are kind of a purplish color lastly another reason for hyperpigmentation on the knuckles might just be friction for example if you have a if you have hand eczema and you're always scratching and you know rubbing your skin, it can become thickened and dark and discoloration and discolored. So that's that's a reason why you might have hyperpigmentation kind of over the knuckle areas. It's just friction. Or if you if you are doing some kind of repetitive motion where your your knuckle is always grazing across a surface, that can lead to hyperpigmentation. So it may just be on one hand, depending on the depending on the outside frictional force on the skin. But that definitely can cause uh, localized hyperpigmentation over the knuckles. Obviously removing the source of friction um, and with time using just emollients to the area can get it to, can that, the hyperpigmentation can improve. So those are the conditions associated with dark knuckles. And the take home point is that the most important thing is to rule out an underlying medical disease and treat it appropriately. Most commonly is gonna be insulin resistance or type two diabetes. Um, so, you know, outside of that, other things that can help improve the appearance of hyperpigmentation on the knuckles, whether it be due to acanthosis nigricans or friction, uh, is to use a moisturizer that has ammonium lactate in it or lachhydrin. I'll list this down below for you guys. That is um, an ingredient that can help soften the skin and subtly, subtly I say, improve the hyperpigmentation. But the main treatment is gonna be to address the underlying cause, the root cause. In addition to in addition to amlactin or lachhydrin, the other uh, ingredient that can be helpful for this is a retinoid. 
So in the case of stuff that you can buy over the counter, that would be uh, different. Different gel or adapalene uh, applied to the areas of hyperpigmentation can improve them just by softening the skin and helping with skin turnover. Ingredients though that are aimed for improving hyperpigmentation, including hydroquinone, topical soy, azelaic acid, uh, licorice root, niacinamide, green tea, mulberry extract. Um, these are probably not going to be super helpful, to be honest with you, to improve the appearance of this. A lot of it has to do with um, thickness of the skin um, and skin thickening rather than rather than overactivity of the enzyme that drives pigment, pigment production. So you tend to not get too far with those ingredients for this. The main thing you have to do is treat the underlying cause and amlactin, lacthydrin can help, can help just improve the appearance of this, um, as can topical retinoids. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I really wish there was something that, you know, it just melted away, uh, but it's really mostly important to focus on what the cause might be in your case and have that appropriately treated. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.